was tremendous. So we're delivering the, the, the second of our uh, new customers for the A350 aircraft, and of course the first one operating in Asia. So we're really excited about getting into such a fast-growing market. Yes, I mean, by the clearly we're doing this one to Vietnam Airlines just now. We'll shortly deliver to Finnair and by the end of the year to LATAM. So by then we'll have A350s operating in all four of the major continents of the world. And clearly we have a strong ramp up plan. Uh, and of course we really want to get to build rate 10 of these aircraft and perhaps even higher levels. Uh, I can easily see us going above 10. But at the moment we've got an ambition to get as quickly as we can to rate 10. I think uh, we've had very positive feedback from Qatar Airways. Uh, clearly they've been operating now, they've got four aircraft in operation and they're going to destinations like Frankfurt and Singapore and the operation so far is going very well. Uh, clearly as we move into Vietnam Airlines that will bring us another challenge because they'll actually be operating the longer routes because typically Qatar are flying seven, eight hour sectors. Uh, with Vietnam, they'll be flying to places like Paris, Frankfurt, and that'll bring us into 12 and 13. So uh, yeah, that'll be another big step in terms of making sure that us, Airbus and Rolls-Royce, are there and supporting the customer. But all the feedback so far, the performance of the aircraft, the fuel burn, and the quietness of the engines, I think has been outstanding. The Asian market is extremely important to us, it's one of the big growth spots. If you think of Vietnam with 8% growth year on year, you know, these countries, although they may not seem huge, uh, have got a significant growth. And keep in mind also that the number of people based in Asia who have actually taken a flight is very, very small. If you compare with Europe or North America, for the ordinary man in the street, Flying an aeroplane is still a relatively unusual thing to do. But of course, as the middle classes grow in these countries, there's a tremendous growth opportunity for us. So for us, the Asian market is extremely important, and clearly getting into service with Vietnam is a big step in that direction. First of all, I'd say I can only reflect back on my own experience. I started at 16 years old on the shop floor in, in Rolls Royce. Uh, for me, it was a tremendous training, and I think many of the habits that I learned then, good habits, I think were ingrained into me by some really good training instructors. So I think my message would be listen and learn. Make sure that you get the opportunity to try different things and different challenges. And always keep an open mind. Don't have too much of a set plan in terms of a career. Keep an open mind. Do what you're asked to do, but do more than you're asked to do each time. And you'll find that the next big job, the next opportunity will come along. You won't actually have to go and search for that.